Yo, what's up guys, it's Pi here, the Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin guys, and solely Bitcoin, alright, nothing else, because uh, we're just going to look into what's going on with Bitcoin, and you know, where we can potentially go, so, uh, you know, let's start this, uh, you know, TA on a higher time frame, so we'll start on like the, the daily here, right, and um, let's hide these uh, drawing tools, so we can just look at what's going on without any tools whatsoever. I mean, we have some indicates on the chart, but that's about it, right? So on the daily, guys, you can see that we had, have two red candles right now. And uh, we're pretty much bouncing from that 21 EMA on the daily right now. But we could potentially go down to the 55 EMA, which is around $8,800. And how I think we could potentially get there, um, I'll go over that, right? So. Uh, yeah, that's the daily for you guys. If you go to the 12 hour, we are bouncing from this 12 hour cloud. So that's a good good sign. I mean, we don't even need to go to the 8800, perhaps, right? It's just, it, it is possible. It's it's possible that we do go there. So keep that in mind. So, I mean, we're going to bounce from this cloud. Um, the cloud is thin here. So if we keep bouncing here, if we get over here, this is a little bit dangerous. We need to be out of here back above before that happens. Or, you know, we could be in a little bit more trouble. So, you know, um, if we go to the 6 hour here, the 6 hour cloud is around that $8,900 area. So, you know, and you could you could just see these wicks as 88, right? So, I mean, the 87 even. So, right. Um, could we get here yes it's possible look at the four hour here we went exactly to the cloud seems to be holding nicely there and uh, we're going down again right now but if you look at our side guys four hour is pretty it's not oversold yet but it's it's pretty down right six hours pretty down as well 12 hours pretty good I mean 52 I like that just above that 50 on the daily we're at 56 so yeah um, so yeah guys let's get on to some smaller time frames and let me add the, the drawing back on right so I still have this uh, this channel guys because this channel's holding for now right we went a little bit lower but then we bounced back up so we're back in this channel guys and who knows what we're gonna do but here we also have this little gap that we can go up from there so uh, another thing I can see here guys is uh, one two three four five is this perhaps done maybe maybe so if you take this here then to there do we have that one we have the one to one one point six one eight even and then the two point six one eight for the the low here so you know a little lower obviously but that was only a week so it it, it is potentially done guys uh, you know the five waves If we look at it one two Three four and then five is that potentially it it could be It could be it guys, so what that is then so we got this guys all right remember this the one two three four five all right so what that potentially can be is an a move guys all right because yeah the market you know goes in waves so an A then you got a B potentially up here at 96 and then C could even be here again at 92 or it could go lower right to like that 88 that I was talking about around here or even 86 a 86 is probably even more likely you know just above that I mean yeah the FIP is there but there's a lot of price action here and there's nothing there so this is potentially a wave that you could see okay so that is an ABC and that would mean that the whole correction is done then all right but uh, for, for now guys I mean just take you know be cautious about it I mean remember that the A move had the five waves a nice one two three four five A to B is always ABC so we expect it a B and a C and then the C move is five waves again. So once we are after this B move, once we are going down, you should be able to to count five waves down, guys, in order to get that C move completed. Right? So um, yeah, just 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 watch for that. 
for now. Um, we're, I think we've done the A move. And then we're, we are going for the B move, right? So, that is what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, so we have this A and then maybe so we hit the cloud here already. I mean, B and then we get a really weak C then. But it's still possible if, if you know, um, if we take the Fibonacci from the top here. So this bottom, the, the, the 0.5 is only here, guys. This is already okay at 95.84, so around $9,600. But the 61.8 is around that 96.80, so around $9,700, which is up here, right? Exactly up here with the price. So is this coincidental or not? That is my question. Okay, so we could either bounce from here back down or from here, the, the 0.5. So, you know... Uh, we'll, we'll have to see, but I keep it at the 618 for now, and then obviously we'll go down, have five ways down. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much how I see Bitcoin right now. And then from there, guys, we just go further up, all right, because maybe I was not correct with this, okay, guys? Yeah, you have to give me some slack here. Maybe I was not correct here with the five wave that it's done. Maybe it actually does go to 10.4, guys, like we said, or even 11. Okay, that's possible the, that our wave goes further and that this is not the top yet and that this is merely a 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we get a 5, right? Or, I mean, there's so many counts you can do, guys. It's so hard. Sometimes Elliott Wave is very hard to count, and this is one of them, guys. It's so hard to count. I mean... Yeah, I can count the one here, like a one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, and then the three is also countable, you know, one, two, uh, no, see this one's already harder, one, two, uh, three, no, so this one is already not doable, right, so, you know, I mean, <laughs> It's sometimes just really hard to count, so we'll go by Fibonacci more than anything right now. And now we'll go targets. Alright, so if the 0.5 is hit, they, you know, Elgos are looking to play the, the negative 236, which is actually only at the cloud 89, uh, or the negative 618, which is down here at this, uh, actually, exactly at this level, guys, at the 8678. So 8677. Or 8678 is a algo target that that could very well be played out. So yeah, well, that is without doing the fib and the Elliott waves here. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I, I still let it stay here, but I don't know if the five is done. Uh, you know, I mean, if we do retrace to the full 382, so around this 8677, then that means that. That is a potential wave one. This whole thing is a potential wave one. Then a small two, like with a shallow retrace to only 38.2. And then the three back up. Okay, so I mean, if we look at that, if we we're just gonna look at this scenario, guys. So we got this low. We'll go up here, right? That's where we went, almost 10k. And then if we go back down to like this, this, this number here. Around the 86, 70 or so, right? Um, then if we get a one-to-one, -one, we, we get to this point, which is 12,239. Is that possible for a third, guys? Um, I think it is, uh, honestly. Because then we get into this zone here. And that's also a, a huge resistance. Because... If you look here, right, the wick's down here, guys. That's hard to get to break through. So, yeah, this is very much possible. So, okay, so, um, and the 1.618 is all the way at the 14. So, if it's bullish, then it will get up here and then go down again. And then we'll most likely make a double top and, uh, you know, have a retrace again and then break the top and make all time highs, guys. That is how I see it right now. This is how I see it. Okay, so let me draw it out for you guys. Let me draw it out. So we have one. It's light blue, guys. 
Then we'll have a 2, potential 2 here. Then we'll have a 3. A little bit higher than 1 to 1. Probably, I mean, if you look at this top here, that's what I base it on. There, we'll have a 4. And then we'll have a 5, which could potentially, I mean, uh, try to keep it in proportion, right? So 15,000 for this, this 5. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, these tops here, right? That This is the wave that I can see happening, guys. I can see this happening. So, um, yeah. This is the one, one that I can see happening, which is almost to $16,000. So, right, wave one, almost 10K. Then wave two, back to like that 87 or so. Then wave three, to that 12.7, like 12K or so. Maybe, maybe only 11.7, but that would be not good. We want to have at least a one to one. So yeah, to that 12.7, then back down to that 10.7 or so and then we go up to 16k okay that is how I have it right now guys and that is pretty much what you know what I close this update with right because uh, that's pretty much it guys for Bitcoin that's what I see so that's what I'll leave on it right um, so I'll just leave this here I'll just leave this here so yeah guys um, if you're not in my telegram yet, join up with the CryptoPies blog where you can ask me any questions, you can ask other people questions. It's just a great chat box to be in. Alright, just join up guys. Great knowledge being shared here. Every day again. Um, and I can't thank you guys enough for being here and, you know, supporting uh, both the channel and the telegrams. Just helping each other out. That's great guys, keep it up. Also, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, all upcoming announcements about random things that are going on in the crypto world right now. For example, we got the Ethereum. Uh, is it a security or utility? Right? And there was some news about it. So I posted it as soon as I saw the news, guys. I posted it right there and for you to read in both the feed and the blog, actually. So yeah, um, make sure you, you follow that, guys. Also, I'm researching some ICOs, but it's uh, that's just not that many right now that I think are actually worth getting into but um, if you can find me a ICO what I'm looking for guys is an ICO that will provide you know some kind of either new blockchain technology completely new so not blockchain so you know it could be like the hash graph from the Hedera hash graph or you know the IOTA was IOTA right it, 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 something new or simply infrastructure that works as well that's what I'm looking for I'm not looking for dApps so yeah um, if you can tell me about ICOs with that guys I'm definitely looking more into that and uh, it, you know if it's just a dApp I'm not I'm just not that interested because the gains are not that good alright so yeah guys with that uh, I'll leave it with that alright guys so yeah both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video Please like and subscribe, hit that post notification button and if you got any questions at all, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.